Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video we will start with a physique update of uh, Blessing of Oddy Boy 3 weeks before the Indie Pro, a little bit less than 3 weeks today. Uh, this is him, and he looks definitely at his best. I don't think he ever looked like this, uh, no, not at 3 weeks out. Uh, how well will he do? Well, the question that I'm asking myself is... Is the reason I'm making a video about him because he is that good of a bodybuilder or his social media? Blessing is an entertaining guy, he is trying very hard, I mean he is a funny guy. But is he that good of a bodybuilder to actually win in the pro? I mean last year he was top 3, he was third and finally he brought pretty good conditioning, uh, Chad Nichols was prepping him, but basically what he said later on is that uh, he dieted way too hard and that he lost a lot of muscle, that he preferred to be a little bit bigger and fuller. But I don't know if that could have been accomplished, because usually before he was bigger, but he wasn't in this shape, and now when he brought the shape as a pro, I think this was his pro debut, he actually did very good, I mean top 3 at Indie Pro, it's, it's quite a success actually. Coming to this indie pro, he was uh, bad-mouthing uh, Nick Walker and basically saying that he's going to beat him at the New York pro that was like uh, one week after indie pro. Uh, it wasn't even close, I think he was like, I don't know, 7th or 8th at, at New York pro. He looked much worse than at indie. At indie he was, uh, he was sharp, you know, look at him, look at him here. Uh, not very big. Uh, one of the smallest guys, actually, I mean, because of his height, you know, he's a little bit taller, uh, he has a little bit, like, longer limbs, so he needs to fill out the frame to be really uh, round, you know, but still, he was in good shape, and if he brings the same conditioning again, and if he comes a little bit fuller, then he can actually do pretty well. This guy is not all hype, he's not all Instagram, he's actually a great bodybuilder, and now... Look at his legs, I mean, it looks like he brought up those legs, they were definitely his weakest body part, and it seems like he actually worked hard and brought them up, and it looks like also that he is bringing good conditioning, I mean, for 3 weeks out, he is spot on, this is, this is ideal for 3 weeks out, basically, and I think he's going to be bigger, too, I mean, he looks pretty full, Pretty full, hard, conditioned, uh, it looks like George Farah is getting the job done very well. But hey, in order to win, he needs to beat this guy. Justin Rodriguez is doing Indie Pro again, he won it last year, he wanted to win the New York, he didn't, but I think this year he will win it easily. As far as Indie, of course, he will crush it. Last year he won it and he was a much weaker version of himself, this year he improved so much, his legs were a weak point last year, but now they look like they doubled in size, how is that possible, a guy at that level, a pro, gaining like, I don't know, 3 inches in his quads in, in, in half a year, how is that possible? There is only one way, of course, it's Intel, of course, come on guys, it's not like I'm saying this about everybody, but this is so apparent, anyways it worked, you know, it doesn't look that bad, I mean we know that it is Sintel because we saw him last year, and last year his legs were so much smaller, but the judges, they don't care about that, they only care about what they see, and how you got what you have on that stage, that's none of their concern. If it looks right, it looks right. Maybe it's a little bit obvious, but just a tiny little bit. It's still very good physique. It's rugged. It's nothing close to aesthetic. It's quite the opposite end of spectrum. Like it is completely reversed from aesthetic. This guy, he's so he has no aesthetic, zero. But he has so much mass, and he comes conditioned, and he's now he's very complete. He has no flaws. That it's really hard to beat him. Yeah, he was 5th at the Arnold, but he was off, he was way off, especially the finals, he was so watery, he improved though, for Boston Pro, and he was 2nd right after William Bonac, and William Bonac beat him, but only because William Bonac has this crazy shape naturally, without uh, as much oil, so he has more aesthetics than Justin. But everybody else, I mean, he was second at Boston, so I'm thinking Indy and the New York Pro are gonna be clear wins for this guy, for Justin Rodriguez, I don't think Blessing really has a chance. Does Nick Walker disagree with that statement? Does he think Blessing is going to win? Because here he says, 
I think Blessing is going to surprise us and I think he's going to place really, really well. Uh, what does that mean really, really well? Note that he didn't say he's going to place first, so he probably can see that Justin is going to win this uh, with, with ease. Now, can Blessing take second? I think that's what Nick was uh, trying to say. Uh, can Blessing do that? I don't know, and uh, look guys, I'm a big fan of Bro Chat, and uh, I, I rewatched some episodes, some older episodes, and I noticed that Nick is very often right when it comes to his predictions, you know, like, uh, he predicted some shows like a year before, and he was right many, many times, he actually knows bodybuilding very well, but sometimes he's a little bit biased, you know, sometimes when he has a client of his own, he says that that guy is going to place much higher uh, than, than he actually does. And I think this is the same thing with Blessing, because these guys became really good friends after all that drama that went before the New York Pro, they're training together. Uh, I think they're really good friends now, and I think that's why he said that. He said this in a, in a bro chat, in a podcast with Fuad, uh, and I think he was just uh, trying to be, you know, polite to support his friend, but I don't think he really means that Blessing is going to win. Can Blessing be second? I don't know about that either. This freak right here, Omer Omeragic, he's going to do uh, Arnold Classic South America, and I'm assuming he, he might do India and New York Pro as well. Can you guys believe that this kid right here is only 22 years old? Yeah, 22 years old, that's insane. And last year he beat Rolly Winkler, he looked really good. He knows how to come in peeled, and he has a very complete physique. And guys, he's 22, so in a year, you can be sure that he made a lot of progress, because those years, in those young years, you're making the biggest progress, and if this guy is this big at 22, can you imagine how big he will be at 25, 29, 33, whatever, if he keeps doing it this way, he's going to be a new big Remy, I'm guessing. <laughs> Omer Omeragic is from Montenegro, which is from around here, from Balkans, but also from Balkans, from Croatia, we have another guy, Petar Klančir, who is doing Indie Pro this year as well, and he looks freaking insane. I would love to see a comparison, but this guy is actually like the size of Big Ramy, I mean, he is, uh, he is really freaking massive. I mean, when he competed against the other pros like Dexter, like Bonac, they were beating him because he was very young, he didn't have the maturity, his back didn't really come up yet, but it looks like he made a lot of progress in the past couple of years, he hasn't been competing in a while, and now he is coming back new and improved, bigger and better, and I'm expecting Petter to do some serious damage at the Indie Pro, and I, I really don't know if, if Blessing can actually beat him, but we'll see, we'll find out in three weeks. Before we move on guys, I just want to introduce this product from the old school apps, it's called Vintage Base, and it truly covers all the bases. It is multivitamin, multi-mineral, but also it has probiotic, as you can see. So you don't get only all these awesome vitamins, like vitamin A, C, D3, E, K, B6, B12, you're getting the minerals like zinc, magnesium, calcium, but also you can see you're getting probiotic, so it's also great for proper digestion and absorption of food, but I would also have to say that multivitamin vitamin is an essential supplement that everybody needs to use and this one is really freaking amazing with all these ingredients that you can see right here if you guys want to support this channel click on the link in the description down below and use the code even for 12 percent discount let's go now to the next topic which is Hari Chupan and his physique update. Now, you won't see anything crazy here, this is just your average Hari Chupan, but what is important is that he is still you know, on track. He looks amazing in the offseason, which means we will see him at the Mr. Olympia again this year at his best. And that's all we need to know, really, like, does he need to make any improvements? Well, nothing crazy at this point, not that really. He could use bigger arms and like bigger forearms and maybe like a little bit more in back, uh, maybe just overall size, but you know, he's pretty complete, he's really big as well, he has crazy maturity and conditioning, and I think it's all about time for Hari, you know, right opportunity. If other guys who are bigger don't come like completely sharp, he can take them, you know, he can beat Big Ram, he can do that, I believe. So we'll see what's gonna happen this year, it looks like Hari is uh, 
right on track and if he keeps training very hard year after year in the off season and he really doesn't have to make any growth improvements he's just going to get more mature and he's gonna look more nasty and as long as he maintain this mass and, and this shape he's going to be very dangerous and it can be he's like a ticking time bomb you know anytime he can beat these guys if they don't show up at their best and he can win the mr olympia he can take over he can do that a lot of people think he deserved to win it last year i don't know what you guys think tell me in the comment section down below do you think he deserved it and can he win it this year all right next we have another bodybuilder hospitalized and before you make any assumptions no this is not gear related this guy actually got shot uh, so uh, as you can see his name is shane post and uh, he's an IBB pro basically his wife i believe posted this uh, photo of himself uh, after the surgery so this is basically what she says and pretty much all we need to know so she says as many of you already know shane post got shot in front of me baby panelope and uh, somebody else some other person here on april 19th he has been in the icu since then his surgery was four hours long and his injuries are very severe as we were told he got shot at a very bad spot as a lot of major organs are located there uh, he he suffered uh, injuries to his colon kidneys liver and duodenum uh, his recovery is going to be slow and it will take two months to recover as far as what was the reason for this well bison tries instagram page posted also this uh, they, sh they say that he was hospitalized after being shot in the torso by his neighbor shane's wife stated that their neighbor nikki brown shot shane due to a parking dispute shane was being dropped off by his co-worker who pulled into brown's parking space so this is horrible news this is really uh, disturbing i would say we had so many losses in bodybuilding world lately so many ibb pros but apparently this guy survived uh, he suffered some really bad injuries uh, hopefully he will recover fast i wish him speedy recovery and that's gonna do it for this video guys uh, if you want to say something tell me in the comment section down below subscribe to this channel for more bodybuilding news like this uh, thank you so much guys for watching all the best and bye bye